Hello again, it's me, Rebecca Rutherford, director of Ungerback Digital. This is Silent Ange, and we're bringing you a brand new episode of Event 365. Today's topic is rad as per usual. Let's talk about Instagram, shall we? See, there's some new data out on Instagram usage by Fortune 500 brands, and if you dig in a little, you can find some pretty good nuggets in there that apply quite nicely to events. Back it up for a second, let's quickly rehash the situation with Instagram and why an event pro like yourself should be making time for it in your extremely busy schedule. If you don't get more business from that, what is there? Right. First off, we all know that images and videos are easily the most shared content on social networks. We also know that attendees are particularly fond of sharing this kind of content at events. Instagram here is the sweet spot where these two forces align to become a really powerful means of building buzz for your show. It's also worth noting that Instagram users are kind of abnormally receptive to content from businesses and brands as compared to other platforms. Engaging approximately three times more often with organic posts from company Instagram accounts then posts elsewhere in the social media realm. It hurts and they're like, but I like it. So now that we're clear about why you should be on the Instagram train, let's talk dirt on this new data. Talk dirt! It comes courtesy of the 2016 Fortune 500 Instagram report, and the first thing to note is that Instagram users aren't chatty. Oh, oh yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. The report found that almost 99% of consumer engagement with Fortune 500 brands on this platform comes in the form of likes. So don't be disappointed if your posts aren't overrun with comments. Passive engagement appears to be the norm. The report also seems to provide a clear answer to an age-old question. To hashtag or not to hashtag? Looks like the answer is affirmative. It turns out Instagram posts with a question mark or hashtag do marginally better than those without. There is an exception though, isn't there always? Posts that contain exclamation points actually perform worse than those without anything. So cool it on the exuberance, capiche? And it's actually a capital K? Yeah. Why? Che si mangia la zita, che si mangia la zita, che si mangia la zita la prima sera. Che si mangia la zita. Another interesting point from data is that unlike the vast majority of users, most companies do not use filters on their Instagram posts, opting instead to upload pre-designed photos and videos. If the quality is high enough, Instagram users don't seem to give a hoot but going the route of a simple post with a poppin' filter could be a good way to stand out. The Mayfair filter is one to keep your eye on, as it's shown to have the most impact on engagement when used by a company or brand. While it's always useful and interesting to mine facts and stats for insight on strategy, probably the best and easiest way to find out what works on Instagram is just to see who's rocking it and follow suit. Oh yeah, girl! For example, Live Nation's Instagram account has been singled out by TrackMaven as an account to watch. No doubt this has a lot to do with their access to marquee talent. They're making great use of their ability to offer behind the scenes glimpses and exclusive info about some very big names. This could be easily scaled for trade shows and conferences by employing the same strategy for keynote speakers or presenters with name recognition in the industry. You don't want to get fungus? Who doesn't want to get fungus? It's got fun in it! <laughs> Find other accounts to use as inspiration by following your competitors and taking note of who they follow that may also be useful for you. And in the true spirit of today's subject matter, we're keeping this episode short and sweet. Check back in with us in a few weeks for more tips and tricks to keep your event live 365 days a year. And in the meantime, catch up with past episodes on YouTube or follow us on Twitter for a daily dose of event marketing intel. See you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.